The design revolution means a massive movement from people designing toasters into people designing things that save lives. Last year, I was inspired by things like Design Like You Give a Damn or Design Revolution and Bruce Mao's Massive Change and I started my own student group called Design for America. Now we're in Dartmouth, Cornell, Northwestern, Stanford, Harvard, we're inspiring students to, to impact their own surroundings, not just going to the other end of the world but literally going on the, at, at the, across the street from them to design, use human-centered design to solve local problems. That's what Design Revolution means to me. Social design, we're going for equality, are we designing for um, people's fetishes? I'm not sure what we're designing for, I'm still trying to figure that out, so, yeah, Felicia? <laughs> I've actually been thinking about this, um, I'm, I started as architecture, so I was kind of like architect for uh, like humanity, all this stuff, so I'm still kind of questioning all of this, so. Uh, I think design revolution means uh, human responsibility as a tool means design, design tools. So that's, that's the design revolution to me. Oh, I think the design revolution is, is necessity. I mean, there's no question, it's necessity. It's just how quickly we want to, to, to move there and what, what do we lose in the, in the meantime. But the, the revolution is, it's, it's here and we need it. The design revolution, to me, explains why the Brita filter is sitting on my kitchen counter at home and also over here, which basically means that I'm existing in this world not knowing that I'm just, you know, sort of interacting with these objects that are actually, you know, there's a lot of thought that's been put into the creation of them. Um, and I never expected to see something that I had at my home actually a part of this entire kind of experience. So it's a lot of sort of answers to questions that I never thought I had about the way that I'm interacting with the world around me. It makes me more curious to, you know, sort of tune in um, to my own experiences with spaces and objects. I lived in Chicago for a year and a half and did an AmeriCorps program around public health. Um, it was a great way to volunteer and meet a lot of organizations that are putting all sorts of research and education into greater good and humanitarian projects. And the design revolution is exactly what that's about. I think the design revolution is about bringing things, uh, products that people normally don't get to see to the people so they can actually touch it and hold it and say, physically see how this can make a difference. I would say the design revolution is about making things or products more useful and accessible to people.